Hi there, I'm Tim, Head of Training at Pencil, and today I'm really excited to be giving you a feature focus on our new text editor system. This brings together all of the previous functionality of our text generation systems into one tool, which offers really great added functionality. So let's jump on in and take a look. As you can see, there is an immediate difference from our previous text generators. We have a central document pane with some editing and formatting features. We can access our documents within this project over on the right hand side and add new files. And then on the left hand side, we have our chat, which is our main interaction. We can select our models choosing between GPT-4 and Palm 2. I'm going to stick with GPT-4 for this demonstration. We can choose different templates and we can add context. And as with anything in pencil, adding context really helps you to get the best. So I'm going to add some information about a product from my asset library. I could also upload files directly from my computer, including like PDF copies or brand guides. To start with, I'm going to choose a template for audiences and I'm just going to ask the chat to give me three audiences. Using a template works really well because it will be able to give you some guidance along the way, some extra questions to reformulate your approach so that you get the most out of it. Um, I've asked for some audiences for my Zenbury yoga brand and it has asked me to specify the country that I want to target. So I'm going to give it three countries. Let's challenge it a little bit and see how we do. So we're going to go with the UK, US and Australian markets. And we'll see what it comes back with. I get three personas, one targeted at each market. Because this is a chat, I can just directly interrogate the system as much as I want. And drawing on GPT-4 and drawing on my brand, it will provide me with more and more honed information. So I'm going to say, give me a 10 point strategy to target audience two. In the meanwhile, I can copy over the text it's already provided to my document, where later on I can reformat that as I need before I export. There we go, it's given me a 10 point strategy. I'm going to move that over to my document editor as well. As you can see, I can do some formatting here. I'll do a bit more later with a more finished output. And this is a really good place to just review the outputs. You can also make manual changes and manual edits. So if you notice that there are individual words or phrases you want to change, you don't have to rely on generation. It's just the blog post. So I'm going to go into my templates again in a new document and choose a blog post. I could have done this in the existing chat, but I want the template to be able to guide the information that I'm giving. So I'm going to say I want a blog post explaining how Zembri Yoga can help. Let's go with young professionals. So it's playing a part in helping young professionals to embed mindfulness. So we're sticking very much within the theme of my product. And because I chose a blog template, it's asked me some key questions to refine its output. So I've got how long should it be? What's the target audience? And what should the tone of the blog post be like? So I'm going to give some specifications. And the more directly I answer its questions, the better my immediate outputs on the next generation will be. So I'm going to say 2000 words, young female professionals, and we'll go for a warm and engaging tone. I'm also going to specify that I want it to be suitable for social channels because that will help to inform that tone even more. I'm going to hit generate. And there we go. I've got a pretty thorough blog post, which I can then again copy over to my document editor. We can play around with the formatting and we can get this to a position where it's looking quite nice for an initial review. And then once I've done this, I can look 
back through, I can make some kind of specific edits if I find things I need to tweak and do whatever I want from that formatting panel. I'm going to leave it alone for now because it's looking quite good. Um, from here and from the files panel, I can download this now. I could duplicate it. So if I want to reuse this, that's fine. I can delete it. Then when I export it, it will export as a PDF file. So that is a very quick overview of our new text editor function. Um, the best way to learn it is to do it. So get on in there, try it out. Look out for any more future video content to help you get the most out of the tool. Thank you.